we're going to look at what it means to have a relationship with Jesus Christ and what it looks like when we become believers and what it is to be in Christ. So today we have these four cups. The blue one is going to help us represent God the Father. The red one is going to help represent His Son, Jesus Christ. Now the brown one is going to represent us, you and I and everyone else in the world. And the green one is going to represent the Holy Spirit. I'm going to move us out of the way for just a little bit because God has chosen to allow us to see who he really is as God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I and my Father are one. You see me, you see him. The things Jesus did here on earth, are exactly what God wanted him to do. Jesus and God are one. And Jesus on this earth was doing what God wanted him to do, which was teach, preach, share, heal, love. And then the Holy Spirit was God's presence here on earth and in and through the believers. And God, so God the Father wanted to show us who he was by God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now here we come back into the picture because we've heard about this God. Is there really a God? Who is this God that we hear about? Sometimes it's hard to explain who, what's going on inside of us who we've heard about God and what it means, who he is, what has he done? Those are all questions and God allows people and events to come into our life to draw us closer to him. And because he wants us to have a relationship with him. So he uses special things to draw us closer to him. So we come to God and we have this desire Something inside of us saying, there's got to be more. We have to understand this. So we come to God. But it doesn't work. So we're thinking, well, okay, maybe I need to clean up a little bit. Maybe I need to get rid of all the bad and start doing some good stuff. And then maybe once I come to God again, maybe he'll say, okay, now you can have a relationship with me. That still didn't work. So now we're going to try a little bit harder. Maybe we're going to try different things to come to have a relationship with Jesus Christ before we clean up or do anything else. Trying a little bit harder still is not working. So God lets us know that you and I have a problem. You and I have a problem called sin. Sin, remember, separates us from God because it puts a block in between you and God. And no matter how hard we quit tr and try to quit sinning and start doing things that are right, it's still not going to work right because we can't do just what things are right and good to have a relationship because remember, it just did not work. It didn't fit right. So that's when God says, well, I've already solved that problem for you. I've already solved the sin problem. I've already done it through my son, Jesus Christ. I sent him to do what you could not do, to take away the sin, to die upon that cross so that you could be forgiven of your sins and have a relationship with him and be in my family forever. He said, once you ask for forgiveness, Confess your sins to Jesus Christ. Then you can start having a relationship with me. Now the Bible calls that the good news. And think about it. All the things in our life that are not honoring God, that we give to God, we get forgiven for that. We get forgiven for, for that, and we begin to become part of Jesus' family. But wait, remember, 
there's something that God put in our life, something else that God put in our life to help us. God knew that we were not going to be able to understand all of this on our own. God knew that we were going to need help. Our life is not perfect. And after we trust in him, love him, know who he is, and want to live with him, guess what? We still need help. So, God sent his Holy Spirit, who is really the presence of Jesus, to live in us. And God knew that we were going to need that helper to live in us. So, Jesus, in John 14 and 20, said, In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, you in me, and I in you. That right there is beautiful. I'm going to do that again. Jesus said, John 14, 20, Then that day you will know that I am in my Father, you in me, I in you. But the question of it is that we're left with, where do we stand? Are we in this beautiful picture right here where we are in Jesus Christ, where the Holy Spirit is in us? Are we there? It's not an issue of living a perfect life, but it's an issue of having a relationship with Jesus Christ through his son, Jesus Christ, having that relationship. Now, that shows us right there how to come to know Christ, that we can't do it on our own, that we had to have Jesus to die upon that cross so that we can be forgiven for our sins, come to know who God is, and have the Holy Spirit in us. That is having a relationship with Jesus Christ.